This is the art and science of barbering. This was copywritten right around the 1900s. This is how I learned. I approached the entire industry based on this book. This was my father's book, very sentimental to me. Um, it's in great condition. It was written by Lewis S. Trusty, Pasadena, California. That's where my father received his barber license. He goes by Sherman Trusty. If you can ever get a book like this, this is the Mac Daddy of barbering. This goes through the history, the art, the science, the technical aspects of barbering. There's not many of them left, so you, it's hard to find them, but it's the actual Bible of barbering. Just to give you an example of some of the things in it, it has a, mustaches, it even has the old presidents in it old mustaches and it's funny because some of these mustaches are popular today um, I've always gotten a kick out of the pictures of some of the gentlemen in here let's find a oh well here's a great one even back in the day he has a chapter on salesmanship let me just read some of his his chapters that he has Bacteria, beards, bones, career of the hands, cells. He, he talks about barber chairs and how to use them. Um, conversation, which is exceptionally important. Uh, ethics, facial movements, obviously hair, hair cutting, hygiene. And when we talk about hygiene, it's not just keeping your hands clean. Um, it's keeping yourself well groomed. Polish your shoes. Wear something nice. Make sure your 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 breath doesn't stink. Yeah, I mean all those things that you know that go go hand in hand. Um, the model student. Be punctual. If you're going to go get training, show some respect. Show up on time. Take take your profession, your training seriously. Um, shampooing. We don't do much shampooing in the barber industry, but I mean, if that's what you want to do, you can do it. Um, back in the day, toupees and wigs are, were very important. This is Sherman Trusty. This is the man of the Bible. But I wanted to show you a couple of photos of some of the hairstyles. Let's see if we can get to it here. I've always gotten a kick out of these, let's see. Okay. Here's, here's some of the, the old hairstyles, flat tops, ducktails, which is the long hair in the back, medium butch. These are fades. These are hairstyles that, that we're using today. I do a lot of flat tops because you either can do it or you can't. Some of the styles have changed, but as I said, the technique hasn't. The traditions have it. So, as I said, if you can find the Bible of barbering, you're lucky. This was re, re uh, written in 1959, but it dates back to approximately 1900. And uh, my father gave this to me, so I just I cherish it. And I've read this book, left, right, up, down. Um, it's just such a. The only thing that's changed in here is the um, sanitation. You know, we have new products for sanitation. Other than that, that's it. Hey gents, thanks for watching this video with my barber Vince and give a thumbs up if you know the importance of having a great clean haircut. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of Vince and these barber videos. Also, I cover the best menswear on the internet if you wanna learn about looking great and buying the best clothing. Comment below if you have more questions about barbering or grooming like a gentleman and click here if you want to have some more details about the series that I did with Vince. Check out the thumbnails for additional topics that I covered, and as I publish those videos, I will make the links active. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.